Hello everyone, my name is Deathmaster001 and today I'll be teaching you how to install the game Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed for your PC on Windows 10. This tutorial uses D3D Windower and WinCDEMU to let you play Scooby-Doo 2 in either windowed mode or in full screen. This is great if you want to play the game casually or if you want to speedrun it. You will also need the Scooby-Doo 2 game or the .iso to play the game, but you will have to find this one on your own. So without further ado, let's get started. First off, we will install the game. This can be done by right clicking your ISO and clicking mount, or optionally, this can be done by downloading and installing WinCD Emu. Emu. Head to the second link in the description down below click download and then click download again and then this will download WinCD emu for you with that you want to double click it hit yes choose where you want to install it optionally of course and hit install with this hit OK next up you will want to right click your Scooby-Doo 2 ISO and you want to select drive letter and mount select the drive that you have empty the ones that I have currently in use are C and D and that is for my computer every other one is perfectly empty for me but I'm just going to leave it default on Q disk type we're going to leave as a data disk and we're going to hit OK after we hit OK we will have a uh, pop-up on the bottom right that will tell us that we have a disk mounted. Upon this, we can click on it and see what happens with this disk. We can either install it or view it in File Explorer. You would want to click this one, but if you somehow don't click that, you can Open File Explorer, find the drive, right click it, and hit Install or Run Program from your media. Doing this will open up the Scooby Doo Game Installer. Scooby -Dooby -Doo! With this, you can install DirectX 9 if you do not have it. I would suggest doing this either way because it will check to see if you have DirectX 9 or a newer version either way. So, we will be doing that hitting yes, accept, next. As you can see, DirectX setup has determined that we already have a newer version of it installed. So we'll hit okay and hit finish. We will then reopen up, we will reopen up the program again, hit install game. Hit yes. And wait for the game. We will be brought up to this screen. I'm just going to mute it on my end. Hit next. Yes. And then choose, make sure this is checked, your game files. Browse where you want it to be. And then here it'll tell you if you have enough disk space, you most likely will. Hit next. And the game will install. Hit finish to create a shortcut on the desktop. When you are asked if you would like to run to update your runtime DirectX components, hit no because we already did that in the previous step. Hit OK. And then from here, uncheck play game and hit finish. As you can see, we now have the Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed game installed. And if you are not planning to speedrun the game, you can double click this and play the game as intended. If you would like to speedrun the game though, I will set you up with D3D Windower. First up, the first link in the description will have the D3D Windower.zip. With this, you will want to extract this onto your desktop 
and then you will want to open the folder and you'll want to right click and click properties on the D3D windower go to compatibility and you'll want to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. Optionally, you can either run this program as an admin here or right click and run it as admin when you're, when you're over here. We will do it from here just because it's easier. Hit apply, hit OK. But as you can see, you can also do the run as admin from here. This game, this program needs to be ran as admin because sometimes there will be issues if it is not. But yeah, we already did the check mark and the properties, so we're just going to hit open. Hit yes. From here, we will hit the plus icon. And in here, we have to pick where the Scooby Doo game is installed. This might. One, you might, bleh, depending on where you installed it, it will most likely be in your program files, THQ, Warner Brothers, Scooby-Doo, Monsters Unleashed, and then Scooby.exe. Hit open. Next, we are going to click on the Scooby thing here till it's blue, right click, and go Options. From here, I have some settings we have to make sure we check. We will want to make sure we uncheck use windowed mode, show FPS, use background priority, click on the three dots here, and then from here we will want to go back to our desktop, open the D3D windower folder and open the d3d hook.dll. Next, we are going to windowed mode and we are going to uncheck everything here or just uncheck these two, DirectX 9 and use GDI. For the foreground control, we want to enable that as well as the active window and get foreground window. For the direct input tab, we will want to check direct input, check, cur check cursor clip, as well as check set and get cursor position, or POS. Hit OK. And then from here, we will double click here and this will open the game. Now, thing to note, your cursor will be locked within the game window. I will show you here. I will just quickly spam escape and get us to the main menu. Your cursor will be locked in this main window, as you can see. So one way to avoid this, if you need to do other stuff besides play the game, like multitask sort of, alt tab and you will be able to get out and move your mouse again. You can then move the window if you just like hover over it. It's kind of finicky, but you can also close the window from here as well. In case like alt F4 or something doesn't work. And of course, exit the game from over here. Um, and yeah, it, there is one more thing I would like to show you. If you go back to options and go to windowed mode, if you would like to play the game in full screen, in D3D, you uncheck the direct draw here and you check the direct X9. Now this might not look very good in the recording here, but this will open it in a sort of windowed full screen mode where the sides are like black and the game is just in the middle. Anyways, that is all that I have to tell you. Um, one thing you might have trouble running into is if 
you see the error message DLL hook does not exist in the bottom left here where it says um, the text is. But yeah, if DLL hook does not exist is there, that means that you have not selected the DLL hook under common right here. Selected the file path. Anyways, that is all. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day and enjoy the game as much as I have. Have a good one.